While the basic scattergram is a great tool and can show you amazing things, adding text boxes and labels and other types of properties can be a really valuable tool to help you show your customers where they stand in the market and what's been going on in the last six months. So let's show you how to add text boxes and do some of these other custom things that can really make your scattergram stand apart from the rest. So we left off right here with the basic scattergram. Now what we want to do is go ahead and add text boxes or labels and maybe some other types of properties like those that are under contract and treat those as sold in this case to really see where the market's going. Now we can do that pretty easily by going back to, remember you can always click visual pricing if that ribbon doesn't show up, to our pricing area here. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for the relative properties to our, our subject property and look for the other under contract ones. Now the first thing to do is go ahead and add the under contract. That's pretty simple. We can click select data just like we did before, but this time we're going to also click for sale. Now when we do that, the computer automatically grabs the now under contract and for sale properties and now puts those in the graph. And you can see those pretty easily here in the orange and the green. Now the only thing that we might want to do as well is add those text boxes. Let's go ahead and assume we're going to be doing a property that's about 2,700 square feet. Now there are three properties here, one at 2,610 square feet, which you can see in the left side of the parentheses on the uh, data point that I'm hovering over, 2,772 and 2,670. Now to add a text boxes for those ones, we're going to go ahead and come back to our main sheet here and look just under the total square feet for 2,670 and click select properties, 2610, select properties, and 2772, select properties. And go ahead and create this graph again. And now when we open it up, we'll find that we have those labels on the graph. Now to move these labels around, you can click on them. Sometimes you have to click twice, and then drag them around. And you'll see that they have these leader lines there so you can conveniently know what dot they're uh, attached to. And if you want to, now that you go back and look at your MLS, you can say, this one has hardwood floors. Or whatever you want, you can type into these text boxes to really make them as relevant as you need them to be for your pricing experience. So now that we have this graph, the really great thing about visual pricing, visual pricing 2.0, is you can take this and find your comparative range that you're going to be competing against. So using that 2,700 square foot area, we're probably going to be pricing somewhere around here. So if you look at where we're at, we're probably going to be pricing against competition in the 400,000 to 450,000 range. So now let's go to the next step and search for the competition in the wider area in that price range. And then after doing that, we'll be bringing it right back here into the visual pricing system and working on positioning.